babe. Where are we right now? The Hard Rock. We are in Lake Tahoe at the Hard Rock Hotel. And I made an error because we are on prep and I did not double check to make sure that the hotel would have a microwave. And so we have walked around all, to all the Hard Rock restaurants to ask if they have microwaves and they don't. So now where are we going? CVS. To, to buy, buy a microwave <laughs> so we can eat our meals for the next four days. This is prep life and the dedication that it takes. beautiful people. I just wanted to jump on here because I am close to 12 weeks out from my competition. It will be 12 weeks this weekend and today is Wednesday. Um, I am on vacation. Clearly I'm in a hotel room. Um, it was my boyfriend's birthday this past Sunday so I planned this whole trip for him to Lake Tahoe. So um, we've been doing snow tubing, skiing, snowboarding, um, and today is like our last full day and we're just kind of like chilling, relaxing. It's like a self-care day. He's getting a massage right now. Um, I had an acting class and then we're going to go to the gym together and then we are going to get pedicures. So um, I just wanted to talk about some updates. So this past weekend, last Saturday, I went to uh, my coach was having a team workout in San Diego and yes I drove from LA to San Diego just to go to this team workout but I feel like it was so worth it because um you know it's just so different when you're like with your coach or like with in like the environment of a team you just like push yourself so much more than you actually do when you're alone or than you think you're able to um so I PR'd on my hip thrusts. I did like 315, which I've never done before. Um, so, and just like learning how to train at the intensity that you should always be training at, but while you're on your own is like such a valuable lesson. And uh, sometimes you just need that reminder. Um, and we also worked on some posing. So I'll put pictures and videos up here of that. Uh, that was a great experience. I was so happy to finally be able to meet my coach in person. Um, and yeah, so I am officially in a cut. Um, up until this point, I had been having like 300, 320, 250 grams of carbs. Um, and now on my low days, I'm at 150 grams of carbs. And on my high days, I'm at 200. So um, it's definitely a significant change. My, I'm definitely feeling it. Um, I've kind of adjusted now, I'm used to it, but last week I was pretty hungry. <laughs> I was like taken aback by how hungry I was, um, but also because he increased my cardio. So my cardio before was, um, I think it was like 20 or 30 minutes a day on like, not on like training days and I wasn't doing cardio on my rest days and now I'm doing cardio every day even if I'm resting from weight training and I'm doing 40 minutes and then on my uh high carb days I'm only doing 15 minutes so it's a lot of extra cardio that I wasn't doing before plus reduced carbs so definitely feeling the lack of carbs um but I've adjusted this week. I feel great, actually. Um, I kind of was a little bit nervous that I wouldn't have the energy to like go skiing and like do all these activities we've been doing. 
but I've been fine. Um, so yeah, oh, the mountains look so beautiful right now. Okay, so let's talk about traveling on prep. So before we decided to take this trip, I was planning an RV trip for us to go to Yosemite and to like go camping around uh, Yosemite and doing all the hikes and stuff. But Yosemite is under a lot of snow and it was just going to be like a headache. Um, but that way we could have had a, an actual kitchen in the RV um, with like a fridge, microwave, and we would have been able to take all of our meals, no problem. So that's kind of why I planned that because it seemed like a more prep friendly trip. Um, but we're staying in a hotel. They didn't, it didn't come with a fridge or a microwave. So as soon as we got here and we found that out, we literally drove a half hour to Walmart, uh, to get a microwave and a blender. Cause my boyfriend makes a lot of smoothies on his prep. Um, and we requested a fridge for the room. So luckily we were able to get everything we needed. Um, our car was packed with all of our meals and our supplements and everything. So we were gonna bring our dog um, because this is a dog friendly hotel, but she wouldn't have even fit in the car because we just had so much food <laughs> in there. So yeah, um, and it's been an interesting experience. I enjoy it a lot because I think when you're not like on vacation and you're like not thinking about, oh, what's, where are we gonna go for breakfast? What, where are we going for dinner? And like, let's make a reservation. Okay, it's gonna take this amount of time to get here. And then we're gonna be at dinner for an hour and a half. Like all of those like things that like takes time. And so since we've kind of eliminated that and we just have all of our meals with us and we're just eating them here, it's given us a lot more time to just like be with each other and like do other activities and stuff and just relax, honestly. Like, you know, we're just, we have been just working so hard um, that this time is really nice for us to just like chill and like be with each other. So yeah, I enjoy it. It is definitely a different experience than like what we're used to because usually when we travel, we're like trying to check out all the different restaurants in the area and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just fun and it's nice cause we're doing it together. So it doesn't feel like he can go out to eat and I can't, you know, like we're both in this and committed to this prep together. And another nice thing is that we have been able to go to the gym together. Um, unfortunately we're staying at the Hard Rock and the Hard Rock's gym is like, really lame they have, they only have like free weights and like a couple of treadmills so we are actually going to go buy a day pass at a gym that's really close by so that we'll have all the equipment we need um but it's really nice because when we're in our day-to-day -day schedules back in LA we don't really get to go to the gym together because we just have different work hours um so it's nice to be able to like do something that we enjoy uh, you know, a, a hobby of ours together. Last update, I am proud to announce that I'm now an affiliate with Prime Sports Nutrition. So they have everything you would need, um, supplements, protein powder, that's the microwave with my, <laughs> my food. Um, and yeah, you can use my code. Uh, it's Laura10, L-A-U-R-A 10, and I will link that down below. If you're in the LA area, they have one location in North Hollywood and one in downtown LA. That's my boyfriend getting back from his massage. Um, and these are some goodies that I got from them. These BCAAs literally taste exactly like Skittles. So yummy. Um, and some plant-based protein, always a necessity. Um, so yeah, go check them out in person. They do free body scans if you go into one of their locations or you can just shop online and use my code. All right, guys, I think that is all the updates I have for you for right now. And I will see you next time I have an update.
just made, but I'm really excited for it. It's um, PB2 protein powder mixed with some lingonberry jam for carbs, um, about 200 grams of blueberries, honey, cinnamon, and then um, this everything like peanut butter I have. It's like peanut, almond, hemp, chia, sesame, sunflower. It's like every kind of butter possible in one. Um, so this is the first time I've done this, but I'm really excited to try it.